Becky Lynch, hello. How are you? How are you? I'm doing great. Is it good morning or good afternoon where you are now? It, it's good morning. Okay, good morning, then, so. good morning to you. <laughs> Becky, uh, you know, I feel like only WWE superstars could have the biggest show of the year, your Super Bowl World Series, in, uh, Daytona 500, everything coming up with WrestleMania. But then you're also like, you know what? I'm going to put out a book and do this tour and everything for two. Only WWE superstars would put that kind of crazy schedule together. Yeah, a little bit. I thought I thought it was a good idea. I was like, oh, I'll be doing extra media anyway. So this is perfect time. <laughs> it's perfect time. Hit it all. We'll just do two at once. Really, I just thought it was a time saver more than anything. <laughs> Let me see if I can squeeze in 50 interviews in a day, plus get ready for one of the biggest mm -hmm. matches of my career and be a mom and everything, but you're handling it pretty well. And this is what it's all about right now. I'm sure I'm sure you've seen it a million times, but here, a million and one, because I want to show everyone. This is the new book, Becky Lynch, The Man. It's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm very, I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of it. As you should be. And, you know, when I was reading through it, Becky, you said – that you don't have the best memory, but, you know, most of the stories are pretty accurate and everything. But while you're writing it, did you have did you have fun? Because it's a lot of emotions in here. There's a lot of funny and happy and, and you know, joyous peaks. But then there's the lows and, oh, man, the sadness and all that. But did you have fun writing this book? I did. I did. I mean, it was a mixed bag. I went through the gamut of emotions, you know, I would say. And uh, but I, I, I thought several Parts of it were real funny and I'd be laughing my head off while I was writing because I think I'm hilarious. <laughs> my husband's looking at me like, what are you doing? I'm like, so <laughs> funny. And, uh, and, 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 but then, you know, you're talking about, about hard situations too and uh, losses and, and not in the ring, but like deaths and, um, and, and all the things that have happened in my life and the birth of my child is joyous and, and then you know all all the things in between now she's yelling in the background as a as a full human being it's wild <laughs> i know a human that you got to care for now and you're 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 the man you're the mom you're all of it you know you and you and colby dad and it's it's just incredible you got to that point now yeah it, but it's it makes everything immensely more rewarding it's 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 so incredible that, you know, we get to do this and we get to be on the road together and then we get to come back and we get to have her kid and she's just awesome and she's such a good kid and we ask so much of her because she's on the road 52 weeks a year like, like the rest of us. We're not bringing her to places like Perth anymore. But there was a time when we did. We used to drag her to Saudi Arabia and stuff like that. And she's just great. We're so very lucky. Is very she a good blessed. traveler? She's a great traveler. That's great good. Traveler. That's very important because you got, you probably have put on a million flying miles this month alone. Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. She's amazing. She sits there. She, I, I bring uh, Play-Doh for her to play with. So she'll like play with that. She'll watch her iPad or color or something. Well, let me ask you about a couple stories in the book, Becky. I don't want to give it all away, but, you know, I thought it was pretty wild that your dad, you just told him. I'm going to wrestling school. This is what I want to do. And he didn't freak out. He didn't, he didn't, because I've, I've read other books and parents always are the first, like, no, you can't do this. What are you doing with your life? Wrestling, what are you talking about? But your dad was like, yeah, go get it. Go make it happen, Rebecca. Go do it. That's awesome that he did that. Yeah, my dad was like that. My mom was the opposite. But my, my, my dad was a dreamer himself, you know, and he loved, he loved the uniqueness. He loved the originality. He loved just, getting outside the box like he you couldn't have I don't think you could have told him anything that he would have been like oh god why would you do that other than other than living to other people's expectations I think that was I think my dad always felt like he had dreams and things that he wanted to do but he was discouraged out of them by his own parents and uh, and he still tried and he he attempted things but I think he saw the price that you have to pay once you're once you're discouraged from a dream and he didn't want to um, inflict that on his own kids and he was he was incredible in his encouragement and his belief in me um yeah I, I owe I owe any risk that I've ever taken to my dad's ability to just it's an adventure Bex you just it's an adventure it's an adventure just go have an adventure 
Well, it's pretty incredible that you didn't give up. Well, you did for a bit. We'll get to that in a second. I did. I did give up. <laughs> you gave up for a bit. But at the beginning, though, when you had, you know, hazing going on with people in body hair, and there, there's some interesting stories about that in the book, and, you know, you almost <laughs> broke your neck and, and your first match where people finally cheered for you. Was that what did it, though? Was that what made you say, I'm in this, when you got that first applause? Was that the greatest high of your life? It, 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 well, that wasn't when I was like in it. I, I still didn't think it was realistic for me to be a, a, a WWE wrestler. I, I just liked it. I loved it. And I think more than anything, what it was, was that I wanted to be good at something for the first time in my life. I wanted to learn how to get better. Like I'd always had these little fancies of, oh, I'll pick up this instrument or I'll do this sport. And I would start and I would have no interest in continuing it. And, uh, and, and then when I found wrestling, I was like, oh, I really want to apply myself. I really want to be better at this. But it wasn't until I had wrestled when I was 17 with my brother and I, I, I played the part of the heel for the first time, the bad guy. And I was, uh, then I was like, oh, oh, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. This is, this is it. But then you did take a break for seven years and, you know, there was, there were a lot of bad choices and I respect that you opened up about all that, Becky, because some people might have not wanted to put all that you did in the book, which is right here, Becky Lynch, the man, <laughs> get this starting on Tuesday. It's going to be everywhere. You're going to love it. I love it. Um, but, you know, you talked about there were issues with uh, eating disorders and there were, there were drug things and there were, there were photographs and there were all this, all these different things going on. You stepped away for a while. But then you came back, and it's pretty incredible that you did come back because after that long, after seven years, it's like, eh, a lot of people would have moved on to something else in life. Well, I tried to, but there was always this pull. There was always this pull, and I tried to get on. I would try to find new passions, new, but there was nothing that I felt the same way about that, that, that I did for wrestling. And there was also this feeling like I, and it sounds so airy-fairy or whatever, but it's like this, I'm meant to do more with this like i am i am supposed to to make a difference in in some way with this this thing this gift that i felt like i had been given and then abandoned and so there was always there was always a pull there and so and but but it's one of those things where the fact that i stepped away and i left it for so long if i hadn't done that i may have continued but i may have not arrived at NXT when I did with the people that I did and, and would be able to make the difference that I did, which is yeah. wild. You know, I think that's one of those things that in life I'm constantly learning, like, cause I'm quite impatient. I, I want things to happen and I want them to happen yesterday. And it's learning that like life just has its own timing and, and it comes with so many surprises that you can't prepare for. You can, you can write your goals down on a list and make your New Year's re resolutions, but sometimes life just puts things in, in the place that they need to be at the right timing. And so maybe one day I'll learn that lesson. <laughs> well, you mentioned, Becky, coming at the right time to go to NXT with Charlotte and, and Sasha and, uh, and, um, and Bailey and everyone and meeting Seth, meeting Colby, your husband, and all that, that all happened. In the book, too, you talked about it a lot, and I want to show this picture here. This is this is probably your most famous picture with the broken nose and everything. You said that you were nervous doing all of these things, that there were so many nerves. When I look at this, when I look at Becky Lynch standing like that in front of the crowd, in front of the world watching, you don't seem nervous at all. But the fact that you admit you're nervous, I, that's just amazing to me that you, you have those jitters all the time. You don't seem it. Of course. It. All, all the time. But if you talk to The Undertaker, he would tell you that too. And the Get out of it. No said, way. No, stop Oh, it. my gosh. I, like, I said it, I said it to, I said it to Taker to the, in Perth. I was like, I, I was nervous before my match. I was like, why do we do this to ourselves? Why do we do this to ourselves? Uh, I've just the, them nerves. And he said, well, as soon as they stop, it's time to get out. So in saying that, I imagine that's how he's feeling. But it, you only have them because you care and you want things to go well. And so if you didn't care, then then maybe it's time to move on and do something else. And uh, and and yeah, I wanted to give an honest an honest account of of 
what goes on in my head and behind the scenes because one I feel like if somebody's picking up my book to read it I want to give them the truth because uh, I think the truth is the most important thing our, our own truth um but also I feel like you don't always get it from from biographies you know and uh and I think it's important to hear that perspective because anybody who's who's reading about somebody they might read about oh how I didn't doubt myself and blah 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 and I was great and I was wonderful and that may be true but I don't think that applies to most people you know I don't think that applies to most people I think most people doubt themselves and they have worries and they have nerves and they have insecurities and I think the thing the secret sauce to it all is is getting on with it doing it regardless you know I never felt like when I'm reading the new book, Becky Lynch, the man, uh, available starting Tuesday. When I was reading the book, I never felt like there was anything you held back. It's it's open, it's honest, it's it's a great read. And I, I don't want to give away any more stories, Becky, because there's a lot more I want to get into detail about it. But we're gonna leave that for everyone to get the book or the audio book too. Um, so either way, starting on Tuesday, got a couple more minutes with Becky Lynch. So a couple quick questions. Um, and I want to let everyone know too, you got the book tour going on couple dates, DC, Philly, New York, LA. So you can check on X at Becky Lynch, WWE for all the dates and everything. They're coming up soon. Um, WrestleMania is right around the corner. How are you feeling against Rhea Ripley? You feeling confident going in? I'm feeling great, man. Like I've, I've, I've really been putting my body through, through, through the ringer and my mind. But it's been fantastic because that's how I get ready. You know, I don't, uh, I don't get ready. I stay ready, I suppose. And because I'm constantly fighting, I'm constantly getting those reps in. I constantly have a target on my back. I have more of a target on my back than Rhea Ripley does, which is an interesting thing. People are trying to take me out before I'm even the champion. That's an interesting thing. I wonder why that is. Probably because I am a fighting champion. I don't even need a, a, a title to be the champion because I'm the I'm the 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 champion in 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 my actions. I am the one who is pulling up to all of the live events. I am doing all of the shows. I am wrestling every single week. I am doing media after media after media. Rhea ain't doing that. She ain't doing that. Because she ain't capable of that. She isn't capable of balancing it all the way that I can. All while I'm a best-selling author. All while I have a three-year-old. Because I am the real champion. I think she knows that too. That's what you got to do when you're uh, when you're the man. Uh, last two man. questions, Becky. Um, who should write the next WWE book? Which superstar do you want to know their life story about? Oh, my goodness. That's a great one. Oh. You know, I think there's so many people with such interesting stories. I don't think you get to WWE without, you know, you having an interesting background. I keep trying to get Seth to 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 write a story or to write a book, but he says he won't. He will one after, day. He will. I think. I think after seeing what I've done, he uh, he's like, ah, uh, no, that's, that's <laughs> a lot of work. Um, but 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 also, he's just uh, he's so eloquent with his words, and he's he's such a great storyteller that I I think that his book would be phenomenal. Um, and he has a fascinating story, you know, coming from the small town in Buffalo to being one of the biggest. St- stars in wwe but also i think when when you look back at uh, at at kobe or seth rollins influence like he he's like a, a sean michaels in that in that he has influenced a, a whole style and a whole generation and i think people will will probably realize that maybe after the fact if they don't already and so i i like him to this sounds like just such a, an obvious answer but i'd like him to read his book just because i know he'd be such a great writer and the last thing you're just at the white house uh did you leave a copy of the yes. book you there is one in there yes yes in I, the I'm library. Ask, yes i did i'm that. not gonna ask where i'm not gonna not gonna blow in up the your library spot. <laughs> no 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 I, I posted the picture I posted oh i saw the, the picture. picture yeah yeah that's where i left it okay that is where it has been left so for for generations of presidents to come they will have the man with them forever and ever yeah, the Secret Service. Just, or probably, you know, I'm not even going to blame it on the Secret Service. So it's probably probably a, a, a fan went and probably took it, you know, for their own for their own safekeeping, you know. We're going to have to look. We'll have to look at staff. pictures. 
on the presidential trail and see if uh, Joe Biden has it in the bus or anything with him, if he's reading it. All right, Becky Lynch, uh, the new book is The Man, Not Your Average, Average Girl. It's a great read. Guys, you got to get this. It's out starting on Tuesday. Uh, the book tour at Becky Lynch WWE. You can see where she's going to be at on X, including in D.C. at Six and I Synagogue. And uh, with Philadelphia, of course, WrestleMania week, you'll be April 2nd at Barnes & Nobles on Chestnut Street. Becky, thank you so much. Congratulations on the book. You are the man. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.